Shalom, brother Ara, coming to you with another video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and that's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And who were well, Shalom to all you Aki, and you Aqua, those are the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. I want to bring out this news article here from Wales Online. It says Russian TV host urges Putin to use Satan to hypersonic missiles. OK, the move follows calls from leading figures in the West, including U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, to label Russia a supporter of state sponsored terrorism. A Russian TV host has called on President Vladimir Putin to launch hypersonic Satan II missiles, according to the Daily Star. His comments came after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi said Russia has supported state-sponsored terrorism. Presenter Vladimir Solov said Quote, this is the path to a big war, serious big war. What do we have to lose then? So why don't we use Sarmat's Poseidons? End quote. Sarmat missiles, are, like it, Sarmat missiles, also known as Satan II, have been labeled unstoppable by Putin. The intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, are capable of hitting targets across the world and are capable of traveling at 15,880 miles per hour. Poseidons are underwater torpedoes that can travel at 125 miles per hour. So what this man is, uh, what he is urging Putin to do will eventually happen. <laughs> okay, based off the scriptures. Now, when you read Jeremiah 50 and 9, it says for low. I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. Babylon is America. An assembly of great nations from the North Country. That North Country represents Russia, known as Gog and Magog in the scriptures, and its allies. Iran, North Korea, China. Okay. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her. Who is that her? That's Babylon. Okay. As the scriptures uh, mentioned which is known as America. Okay. Babylon the Great is America. It says, From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. Those arrows refers to those ICBMs. Okay. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles. They're going to be as of a mighty expert man, which means it says, None shall return in vain. They're going to hit their target. They're going to hit their target. Now, when you read Revelation 9 and 16, it says, And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand, and I heard the number of them, 200 million. The ICBM missiles, which include the nuclear warheads. So the Lord has prepared overkill to destroy this place, America, in one hour. Okay. Verse 17 says, and thus I saw the horses in the vision. And this is John the Revelator speaking. Them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. Okay, speaking of those missiles. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. All right. Speaking of those ICBM missiles. When you read Isaiah 13 and 5. I'll start at four. It says a noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. And what are these nations gathering together to do? To go to war. World War Three will be the final end all be all wars. It says the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. He's numbering the battle. He's uh, preparing these nations to go to war. Let me bring out the word mustereth. It says to attend to, to number, to reckon, to visit, to punish. Going back, Isaiah 13 and 5. All right. It says. 
Isaiah 13 and 5, it says, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And that whole land is speaking of America. And then when it says they come from a far country, okay, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, from one continent to another, as it said here, bragging about the Satan, the Satan 2 hypersonic missiles, let's see. What the mirror reports, it says the intercontinental ballistic missiles are capable of hitting targets across the world and are capable of traveling at 15,880 miles per hour. They come from a far country. Isaiah 13 and 5, they come from a far country from the end of heaven. Even the Lord and the weapons of, of his indignation. This is the Lord's weapons. And that word indignation goes back to righteous anger. So the Lord is going to use those missiles to destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, for all of its wickedness, to bring down the Edomites, the so-called white people, and their rulership, to transition it over to the Israelites, okay, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It's going to start with the elect under the order of Yahweh Shai and the house of David. This is how the Lord is going to do it, Okay. Isaiah 13 and 6 says, How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. And we are living in those times. Okay, a couple of more uh, scriptures I'm going to close out. Joel chapter 3 verse 10. Beat, matter of fact, I'll start at uh, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. The mighty men represents the men of war. Let all the men of war draw near. Draw near to do what? To go to war. Let them come up. Verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords. Your plowshares represents your farming tools. These nations, such as Russia and some of their allies, were known for their art. It's like it. <laughs> uh, agriculture. I have a problem saying that word sometimes, but um, they're, they're known for their agriculture, their farming tools. OK, but they started to invest more into those missiles. OK, especially after the Cold War. OK. And it says, and you're pruning hooks into spears. So they're investing more into war materials. OK. Um, uh, war weapons okay and as it reads on it says let the weak say i am strong so they went from being uh countries that was lead leading agriculture and focusing more on you know farming tools and you know land and things of that nature tilling the land to now being the forefront as a major threat to the bully america babylon the great they're right there along with them with those missiles okay building precise um high intelligent weapons of war icbm missiles to travel from one continent to another so now they are talking that talk these other nations all right as well as russia russia uh they're edomites as well but russia is is going to be used okay to take down america babylon the great as well as the alliances of russia and the alliances of america who will eventually turn their back on america okay but these nations now are strong. They have these weapons and they are prepared to go to war. World War Three. OK. Let me see if I want to bring in. Yeah, there's another one I want to bring out here. Revelation 11 and four. Or I started. Uh, Revelation 11 and yeah, 14. It says the second world was passed. The second world represents World War Two. And behold, the third world cometh quickly. All right, third world represents World War III. And as we see, everything is happening very quickly. All right, rapidly. The scriptures say um, the Lord is going to speed up time for the elect's sake. The days are going by faster. The seasons are changing faster. The year is going by faster. And we see that World War III is brewing up and intensifying much faster. Okay, which means that this one prophecy 
All right, the major milestone, uh, Revelation 13 chapter has to come to pass in which Revelation 13 chapter, when you talk about the karagma, the C-H-I-P, is already here, is being taken voluntarily, will eventually uh, will be uh, the forefront of the beast system, revealed as a forefront of the beast system in which you will have to take the buy or sell. So everything's happening at a fast rate. As you see here, and I'm going to close out, this Russia TV host urges Putin to use Satan to hypersonic missiles. And Putin will eventually use those hypersonic missiles. Okay. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.